thank you very much. Thank you. And whatever happened to common sense in government, we've got it. We've got more than anybody's ever had. Meanwhile, the radical left Democrat Party is divided in chaos and having a full-scale breakdown, all because they can't decide which of their candidates is more unfit to be president, sleepy, crooked Joe Biden or laughing Kamala. Laughing Kamala. As you know, in our recent debate, and in honor of all of you, I dealt Joe Biden even according to the fake news media, the most decisive and overwhelming defeat in the history of presidential debates. I think so, right? I think so. But it was sort of easy, if you want to know the truth. Our victory was so absolute that Joe's own party now wants him to throw in the towel and surrender the presidency after a single 90-minute performance. They want Crooked Joe out of the race. It's a shame the way they're treating him. But don't feel sorry for him. He's a very bad guy. He weaponized government. Remember that. Let's do another debate this week so that sleepy Joe Biden can prove to everyone all over the world that he has what it takes to be president. But this time it will be man to man, no moderators, no holes barred. Just name the place anytime, anywhere. I'm also officially challenging Crooked Joe to an 18-hole golf match right here. <laughs> On Doral's Blue Monster, considered one of the greatest tournament golf courses anywhere in the world, one of the great courses of the world. It will be among the most watched sporting events in history, maybe bigger than the Ryder Cup or even the Masters. But whatever else can be said about Crooked Joe Biden, you have to give him credit for one brilliant decision, probably the smartest decision he's ever made. He picked Kamala Harris as his vice president. No, it was brilliant. Because it was an insurance policy, maybe the best insurance policy I've ever seen, Marco. If Joe had picked someone even halfway competent, they would have bounced him from office years ago, but they can't because She's got to be their second choice. She has no choice and no chance. And I don't think Kamala Harris's California socialism is going to go down well with the people of Doral, the people of Miami, or the people of Florida. Because in Florida, we don't like socialism. We want our freedom, right? We want our freedom. Joe Biden's job numbers are fake. They're fake numbers, and the fake media knows it, but they don't look at all of them back there. Oh, that's a lot, Marco. That's a lot, Marco. I think they probably think I'm going to be announcing that Marco's going to be vice president. I don't know. Because that's a lot of press. That's a lot of press. I will not cut one penny from Social Security or Medicare. And I will not raise the retirement age by one day. Biden is going to do that because he's allowing these people that come in to go on to Social Security and Medicare, to go into the hospitals. And, you know, we want to be nice. But no country can sustain this. No country can sustain it. I kept that promise for four straight years, and I will keep it again. We have plenty of other resources. We're not going to touch Social Security or Medicare. You know, I'm not allowed to call them Boy, but he is my boy. He's my boy. They're all my boys, right? When you have sons, they can be any age. They're your boy. They're always going to be. And he's a very special guy. Baron Trump. This is the first time he's ever done this. Baron. Where is Baron? Stand up. Look at him. 